Um, we've done a little bit of practice this morning. Before we go into spa, we're going to work on uh, the strikes as I comprehend them. Um, with Zach, this is Zach. And we're going to work on the strikes as I comprehend them from the text so that you can look at them and say, no, you need to do this, do that. Um, and we're also going to quickly run through the grips as well. So, if we stand, we'll try and stand quite close. Right, so, from the handsaw, okay. So, hammer fist. Now, I'm assuming that I can step in and use it to a body. I can use it to a soft area like a neck. I'm not sure in sport if I can go straight to the face. I'm assuming that's a no, but combat, yeah, I'm sure you can. But the way I'm seeing it is from here, I can use it to weaken my opponent's grip. Hammer fist down. Okay, so, potentially even as a shocking technique. Um, second is a slap. Slap's quite straightforward. You can use it from anywhere from here. Sorry, <laughs> a bit harder than I expected. Use it from anywhere to stun an opponent. Um, you take the hand off, you come in with that hand, come down here, and here. The kick, the kick, two kicks. So from hand saw, snap kick. So we go from anywhere from here down. I'm not sure if that includes that area, but snap kick. Um, and obviously the front, front reaching kick. So we sort of two p in with a nice powerful one with the heel. Um, <clears throat> okay, grips, grips. So we've been working on the hand saw today. So gleam a grip, got a nice bent leg, I've got my weight kind of in between my legs, and we've got a bit of a right angle here that gives me the ability to pull, gives me the ability to push. But we're gonna work on changing grips, cupped hand. The friction friction grip to neck. So what you're doing there, try and fight it a little bit, right? So that's it. Then grip. Because there we can then step in. We can step round. Okay. Um, so strikes, grips, and this is what you picked me up on. So I was just explaining to Zach. Zach so just asked if you can just grab for the leg and lift. And I said yes, because that's what Lee liked to do the other day. What, what I didn't know, what, what Tira's told me, is that so I was trying to, while he grabbed my leg, I was trying to fight it away. Obviously, that's helping him, kind of. Yeah. So if we're in the Gleamer, Gleamer stance here, he's trying to grab my leg. If I actually just come down, yeah. it's, it's making this part harder for him to get. So maybe, do you want to try that? Should we try that out? Should we try and grab my leg? Because you asked to grab a leg. Right, Let's okay. go from here. You're going to break my grip and you're going to go, or you're going to just try and grab it with that arm. Yeah, I, I can immediately feel that I'm in a stronger position from down yeah. here. And also, if you're leaning towards me, I could just, just switch it up. You probably go like that, so try that. Just go, go, like, go grab my leg, but stay there. So I could go from here, get under you, and lift you, so I could take your leg. Yeah, absolutely. There's there's set techniques that we practice, and Gleema also gives you the ability to adapt in that situation. In fact, that's what that's the important thing is that you 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 understand about your balance, your movement, and your, your opponents, so that when you're in actual a full full fight situation, you can you don't have to think it too much. You can just adapt, you know where their, their weakest balance point is going to be. But that's a sweep in, sweep out, throws, whatever it's going to be. So, right, that's cool. Do you want to try them out? Yeah. Do you want to, so, go, go for the slap if you want to go for a slap. Yeah. Slap. Yeah, okay. Really, just you want to hit this. The whole point is, you don't have that. We forgot one, which was an open hand. So, from here, I could could use that here yeah. underneath your chin. Um, you, we probably won't be doing that in sport yeah, as a strike, but you can absolutely get a thumb underneath the chin as you're stepping in. So it's the same as that outside leg sweep, but you're controlling the, your opponent's head and balance from there. Um, okay, so 
Dum 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 Stat Dum Strike. So you could go for a kick from there. You could do a snap kick. So yeah, you want to really kick. That's it. Um, and that's not really going to hurt a great deal, but like a slap, it's going to distract. It's going to distract. And then you could go up top. So you get them down here and you come up top. Um, and then you've got like this. Throwing like a nice, powerful heel kick in. Push it back. But that again, that's risky because if you if your opponent grabs that leg, you just got it on the floor again. Um, okay, and that grip. Do you want to try that grip? So we start we start from here, and we've broken that, and we're we're both fighting. Like grab my arm, we're both fighting, and you grab grab me around the neck with like a cut hand. So remember, you can't. You can grab. So it's like this, and it's right. It's here. Oh, all right. So you you've got kind of a large area. If it's flat, you're more likely to slip. But if you've got a bit of friction like this, so I'm controlling that arm. Yep. Oh, I can control, you come in and move in here. Yep. All right. Okay. Yep. Okay. That's nice.